Hello, hello, hello. Today we are in Norfolk, a place called the Wetherwoods. This is a park in forest. <clears throat> Let's check it out if it's a good place. This is really cool. It's in a big forest, isn't it? You see a lot of twiggles. We do have a couple of twiggles down here by the water, but before we talk about them, I really want to tell you about the boggles. Boggles are a similar creature. They're a little bit shorter, a little bit rounder, and they love all things wet and marshy and muddy. So the water is really the perfect place for them to live. And they live here in this boggle village just to our left hand side. Be out foraging at the moment, it's a perfect day for Can they fly? Twiggles can't fly no. Is it a slippery slide? It's just been raining so it is really slippery. Boy, this thing that comes off the tree really easily. Yeah. Oh, I think so. That is exactly what Swampy got for the falling pod, and he went to find the. So, me and kids spent a few hours in this place, the Wider Oats, <laughs> in Norfolk. Um, I really, really like the idea. Like, everything is in this forest. So, a it definitely a really really good idea it encourage children to play outside and be wild i think it's really really good um but i think for me the downside is um i think three of us like a four year old and eight year old and myself three of us we got three tickets and it cost me 65 quid so if your family with four people two adults and two children um, probably cost you close to 90 quid um, so I just think it's a lot of money and all of the facilities inside I mean they're good but I have to say in some parks and playground in UK you can find some really really good playgrounds with all of these slides and all of like similar <clears throat> facilities not every single play not every single one of the playground in uk is like this but you can find some really good ones and they're free <clears throat> so anyway i do think for the park for this park itself if you charge like something like for a family with two adults two children people spend 80 or close to 90 quid <clears throat> and if you're like me forgot to pack your sandwiches probably another 20 to 30 quid to get sandwiches and coffees and snacks here so you're talking about over 100 quid for a family in a place in a day again I'm saying I really like the idea I think it's amazing for children to play outside and being wild 
um, but I just think it's, it's quite expensive for what it is. Um, the highlights for this place, I think it's a boat uh, and the storytelling <laughs> place. Um, I think, yes, everything else um, around me, you know, the swings, the slides and everything else you could see in my video. Like I said, you can probably get them um, in some parks, playgrounds for free. So I think for the park itself, if you charge people for family 80 to 90 quid, I expect something, to be honest, much better than this. You can invest a bit more money and make something quite exciting and more things for children to play with. It's not really a big part. It got a few bits of this sky maze and then I think that's it. It's not really like too big. I got an eight year old and um, she got a bit bored after like one hour because she like things like challenging and exciting um, yeah <clears throat> so I do think for bigger children um, this is probably not really good place I just don't think this place worth like 80 close to 90 quid um, for a day and then I think thanks more and um, if you want to charge for this park I think if you want to charge people that sort of money people expect um, much more so if you can build something else you know design something and <clears throat> if there could be more facilities for us to play and enjoy the fun that'll be much better I think I think it's 22 points I think it's about 20 22 quid um, per person and so I don't think it's cheap or you reduce your price to something like 10 quid a tenner I think that's not too bad I probably wouldn't complain if it's 10 quid but I think yeah if it's 22 per person then it's quite a lot of money and it's probably not really worth it that's how I think um, yeah so this is Be Wetterwood in Norfolk and um, I hope you find this video useful if you plan to come here, um, yeah, just make sure you uh, wear your wrinkles and wellies because it rains a lot and it's a bit chilly. Um, and pack your sandwiches um, so you can save a bit of money. Um, yes, um, that's everything I got to say. And I hope you find today's video useful if you plan a trip to um, this place. And I'll see you next time. Bye.